Morning guys, how's it going? I'm up and it's only just gone six o'clock. Yes, we're up a little earlier today. We're all up in fact. Kids were meant to have baths last night and uh, we said we'll leave it till morning. Safe's currently in the bath. Uh, I feel a little bit better this morning. So that's good. And um, yes, got one more day to go, haven't we? <laughs> well, in fact, probably most of you that are watching this right now, she may even be here, or you know, uh, we'll definitely be at the hospital. So, but um, yeah, I will probably keep you updated via um, Instagram, you know, or something like that, a pic little picture, and obviously the next day you'll see the vlog. <coughs> but if I get behind on comments and that for a little while, I do apologise. Oh. Anyway, I shall have this as always, and then go get myself ready. How's your breakfast, Soph? Good. I've got cornflakes. You got cornflakes. How are you feeling this morning? You excited for tomorrow? Yeah, really, 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 really excited. Yeah. How are you mate? You alright? Yeah, I won't ask you how you're feeling tomorrow because I'll get a sarcastic comment, won't I? Sad. You're sad, oh dear. You're having crumpets for breakfast, aren't you? Phone ringing at this time of the morning, who can that be? Hi Lacey! You alright this morning? Yes? What? You love school. Are you having some crumpets for breakfast? Are you excited about tomorrow? Yeah. Well, poor old Rachel's has had some bad news this morning. She's just found out that her um, sister was in a bad car accident last night. Um, she hit a deer. So, not good is it? But apparently she is stable, but she's um, undergone a four hour operation to have her spleen removed. And um, they reckon that her neck's broken. But um, apparently we'll know more later and stuff. So, but that's not good at all. It's not what we wanted to hear. So we'll we'll pray that she um, recovers quickly. So, you know, they did say that she's stable and stuff. So, you know, they're not saying that it's life threatening or anything. But it's just not good, is it? <sighs> right, Sophie Dove. Say goodbye. Nearly the end of the week. Say goodbye, you two. Oh, it's another wet old day. Well, that's the kids in school and uh, Liam and Lacey this morning. They was oh, in right moods, weren't they, Rach? I don't know what's got into them the last couple of days. Could be, you know, a bit of jealousy with Chloe on her way. I don't know, because they've just not been themselves, have they? And poor old Rach is all flustered, you know, with the... Uh, things tomorrow and now a sister on her mind and oh it's going to be one of them days today isn't it I believe right we've got to pop off now we've got to go to the hospital so Rachel can have these bloods taken hopefully that won't take too long and then got to come home and I'm going to sort Liam's bedroom out because um, if you didn't know mum and Bill are coming to stay with us uh, for a little while. Well, they're coming tonight because they're going to have to take the kids to school tomorrow and that and pick them up. Um, because obviously we've got to be at the hospital tomorrow morning at 8. So, yeah. So they're, they're going to be sleeping in Liam's room on a blow-up bed. So I've got to move all his stuff into the girls' bedroom. He's going to stop in there for a few days with them. Which he seems quite excited about, to be honest. So, yes. Uh, it's all go, go, go now. We're here then. Horrible weather yet again. Oh, hopefully we won't be long, eh? Hopefully it shan't take too long. Got to find the bit yet where we need to be. <laughs> Not sure. We found it. Blood tests. Ugh. Rather you than me. I'm a wimp. Hate needles. Hate them. Down here. About to pull one of them tickets and uh, sit and wait, but Rach is next, so that's quick and easy. Well, that was really, really, really quick. Um, in and out, in and out. So 
Rach wants a toilet and I think she wants the vegetable soup. She's not really hungry but she wants something because she's worrying with her sister and stuff. Uh -huh. They charge a pound for that. Let's hope it tastes nice. Just hot water with a bit of flavour. Mm. Had to pay a pound each for them. <laughs> Careful it's hot. I'm not going to whinge am I? Probably. So it cost me £1.40 to park for literally, how long have we been? Five minutes, if that. Oh, I think the first hour should be free. And we was just saying, like with Rach going into hospital um, and having a caesarean, she's going to be in hospital at least for a couple of days. So obviously uh, it costs because all that parking. And we've just looked at the board here. I don't know if it'll be the same at Lincoln, but over how many hours? Six. Over six hours, it's £10. So... You need money, don't you, to, to come and have a baby or to see someone that's ill and that. Really, I think it's wrong, to be honest. I think they should give the, like, you know, an hour free for the first hour or something like that. And, but there we go. That's just my opinion. I'll finish this and go home. I lied. We've not gone straight home. Just had to come to the pharmacy. Got to pick my tablets up. Uh, Liam's inhaler. Then we've got to pop to Aldi's and get some hot dog buns and that because we're having hot dogs for tea tonight did you miss me yes i know wait 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 come on then good boy hi weeby how are you today weeby puppy pots mm -hmm. chloe will be here very soon now sweep yes all right Doc. so we haven't heard any more about Rachel's sister but we know that she's stable so that's good well it's now is it 10 past 12 seems to be going slow today excuse me I've still got upstairs to sort on that but I might have a bit a little bit of dinner before I do anything I've finally come upstairs and moved Liam's bed there we go Sure, you'll enjoy it in here. Oh, this afternoon I found it hard to uh, find the energy, haven't we, Doc? Although I don't expect you to be doing a lot. Although she has come up here and made the girls' beds. Oh. <coughs> but yes, it's nearly time to go and pick kids up from school. Just got to finish off in here, and uh, got to get the blow-up bed out and stuff. But I probably won't put that up until later. Otherwise the kids will come home from school jumping on it and that and before we know it it'll be bust. Well, this is my last school run of the week. Oh, I still can't believe it guys that Chloe will be with us tomorrow. Amazing isn't it really? <clears throat> yes, I just can't believe it. I'm really excited of course but I'm, I'm nervous for Rach as well because I know that she's nervous and now that she's found out that about her sister, she's got that in the back of her mind. Um, she has had an update from her sister. Um, she's rang her mum and her mum said the nurse has been round to her sister and um, she, she feels groggy of course and she's wanting to catch up on her sleep. So, oh, so hopefully she'll make a full recovery, hopefully, but we'll know more tomorrow. It's one of them things. I'm afraid you just never know what's going to happen, do you? Just shows you that life is so precious, really. Well, when we get home, Mum and Belle will possibly be there. So, yes, here we go then. It all starts now, doesn't it? Ooh. How's Liam and Lacey? You love it. I've seen you watching you running about in the playground. Did you fall over? You fell over another little boy. I was, I was watching you. I was. I didn't see Lacey Lou though. Weren't you running about? Yeah. No. Are you looking forward to seeing Nanny and Grandad? No, but Chloe's not going to come out tomorrow, tonight. No, she's not coming tonight. Tomorrow, yes. You said tonight. No, tomorrow. I've moved your bed, mate. It's in Lacey and Sof's room. Yes, I've put them under your bed still. 
Yes, I've put them under your bed, okay? Someone's knocking. It's the crew. Hello. 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 Scruff back. Come on. Come on. So, you answered hello to us all today. Hi. Now you're going to see you. Yes, good time in that. Get home from school and they arrived, didn't they? It was exciting. You're all excited. Yeah, I can't wait till Chloe's born. <laughs> this tomorrow. Nice day at school. Yeah, did I tell you what I did at did school? Did you tell all your friends? I told them yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, and Ruby was excited as well because she, and I told her the name and it's a girl. Mm. Mm. Should I tell you what I did at school? If you want to, you don't have to. Did maths, literacy, art, my favourite thing, and that's it. And phonics, actually. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. I hope my uncle at school. Oh dear. Hi, Belle. Hi, oh, Steve. You all right? Well, I want to find you? some wet stuff in front of me. I'm well, not sure if you now you're here, tomorrow, you'd have gone yeah. Up, yeah. Up, you're in charge of the house. Oh, that not, means no, no, you're no, in charge no, of the no, kettle. No, 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 no. Not till tomorrow morning, mate. Sorry. You're no, still... You two took over now. No. Mummy no. and daddy's still here. Mummy and daddy's still here. Mummy and daddy's still in charge. Carry on. Get that kettle boiling. Come on. Well, well, well. I was just about to do some tea and um, no other way. I was going to cook my mum a piece of fish we was going to do the, um, the wieners the hot dogs and then mum said oh I fancy a Chinese and Bill said yeah that's a good idea so they're uh, treating us to a Chinese that's nice isn't it Bill said that he's got well he said he's he's loaded he reckons so I might choose the most expensive thing on the menu what do you reckon oh it really I don't know what I want though but I'm looking forward to it thank you Invade his space. Thank you. Again. Thank you. That was a bit close. Yeah. Look, Nanny's doing her jobs already. Thank you. Who's that? They're all men. They're all men. Yep. Mm. Yeah, very nice too. Oh, very nice too. Hey. Oh, yeah, I thought it was a girl band. Yeah. Everyone in this picture is a genetic male. The left hand <coughs> <coughs> I've had things on tonight, Nanny Foxy. Them cooks, trust people. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I might have to watch that. I missed it last time. The kids are watching Paddington. Uh huh. Are you looking forward to having a Chinese? I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <coughs> we was having hot dogs, we've changed it. I'm having oh, special chow mein. What are we having? You can have chicken or beef or bit of both. Bit of both. Bit of both. Well, I'll go and pick the Chinese up with Bill then. George, should I say? George. If the kids will let him leave. <laughs> I think the Chinese is already waiting for him. It was. Yeah. When we arrived, there was a box on the side. I said, I think it's waiting for you. It is. So it's just got to pay. It's dark. I haven't seen many fireworks going off. Well, in fact, I haven't seen any yet. I haven't heard any either. Oh, it's gone dark. Can't see me, can you? Look at this lot. Mmm. I'm sure looking forward to that. You got chicken and black bean sauce. Chow mein for me. Lacey, come on. Oh, look at all that. Though. You've got oh, loads there. there. Are you hungry? Mmm. Lacey. Mouth watering. Mouth watering. What, because you're hungry? I really enjoyed my Chinese. It was very nice come out to let the dogs out but they're not coming out because the fireworks are scaring them yes there's a few going off now but I think a lot of people are probably saving theirs for the weekend you know when the kids are off school and stuff and probably the weather's putting them off anyway eee, bang bang watching the fireworks I can't yeah see. we saw one up there did you we saw the light I'm not carrying you where's your little stall Bedtime soon. See. Bedtime soon. Blowing up Nanny and Grandad's bed. <laughs> Nearly done. <laughs> right, did you all say goodnight to Nanny and Grandad? <coughs> oh dear. 
Give me a kiss, sweetheart. Love you. Yeah. Night. Night, Liam. Night. Love you. Are you going to get in bed properly, please? It's hot. It is hot, yeah. Night, Sophie. Night. Mm -hmm. Love you. Yeah. You excited for tomorrow? Yeah. I'm having right fun and games here with these Odies. Mum's a bit like me. She likes the telly at night. She can't sleep without the telly. I like the telly on at night. And uh, Liam's got an old free view in his bedroom, an old telly and that. And last time they stopped at Christmas, they used that. But the kids have only gone and lost the remote. And no other remote will work it. There's no buttons on the free view, so you can't tune it on and uh, tune it in. And that's why I'm listening to them dogs on mum and he's been out for a wee. <laughs> and he's wet willy. <laughs> So, yeah, um, Mum's on about having their bed downstairs now, so now I'm going to have to drag it all the way down and set it up down here now, after all that hard work of me setting it up up there. And we're freezing, they don't have the heating on. We've had the heating on. We're freezing. It's boiling in here. Our feet are like blocks of ice. No way. Yes. I don't know what you can do when winter comes. Have the heating on. Freeze, yeah. There. Goodbye. They're making me sweat. I know. Ooh. Is that all right for you? Is that all right for you? Now you've got the telly. How are you going to get in and out though? I'm going to get in and out, don't worry. Need a bigger house. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's it, it's gone bang. Shut your mouth. <laughs> 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 Look at yourself, fat look. <laughs> <laughs> I like sleeping on that sofa, it's comfy. That's where Bill will be in the night on the sofa when Nanny kicks him out. <laughs> what about you two? Where's, where's Holly going to sleep? Will she get up there, will she? Yeah. She might sleep there, but she'll be on here first. Well, it's uh, now half past nine. And me and Rachel are going to bed. Leaving these two here. What are you laughing at? I'm missing your bed, Ducky. Yes. It's bedtime. It's cold in here, isn't it? It's not cold. My feet, like, you have to remember I have diabetes. Yeah. So I don't have so much good circulation. Well, we don't have the heating on at night, I'm afraid. No, we don't, but we do have it on in the evening so that it's warm when we go to bed. Yeah. You'll have to get in bed to keep warm. We are frozen solid, <laughs> like blocks of ice. Not that bad. Anyways. Would you like to go and put some money on the meter? No, we've got money on the meter. Anyways. Why can't we have the heating on then? Well, not now. It's night time. It's bedtime. We've had an update from Rachel's sister, and apparently she hasn't broken it. So that's a good thing, but there is something wrong with it. I was like, what was it called? Something facet. That's it, summit, and I don't know, but it's still not great, but it's you know better than we, better thought. Than we thought. Yeah, so. Did they know she's had a cancer? Had her, um, yes, I did say that she'd had a spleen out. Yeah. But, going for another CT scan now. Yeah, she's going for another CT scan. But she keeps being sick. But we'll know more tomorrow. But anyways, we're going to go now, and we'll see you all tomorrow for Chloe Day. Chloe Day. Chloe Exciting. Day. Poor old Rach is nervous, aren't you? I'm not too bad at Just think when you watch this, she'll probably be here. Yay! Anyway, take care guys and peace out.